Hi boys and girls, today's lesson is about the I can statement. It's something that you could do that makes you feel good inside and you can say I can. Story time! Go Pete go! Let's see what Pete is up to this time. For our fine motor skill art, we're going to be creating shape people. Our learning activity, we are going to see what we could do with shapes, different colors, shapes, different sizes. For our movement, we are going to be doing put your hands up in the air. Our song for today is the months of the year. Are you ready to have a good time? I know I am. Let's go. Hi boys and girls. Today's lesson is about the I can statement. Now, I can is something that you could do, that you feel good about. Now, let me tell you a few things that I could do. I can ride a bike all by myself, no training wheels. I don't need training wheels. I can spell my name. Watch this, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E. Michelle. I know how to spell my name. Now think of some things that you know how to do that you can do. Now today, for the I can statement, you are going to say, I can recognize the shapes. Now there's different shapes everywhere. In your house, there's a lot of shapes. You can see circles, squares, triangle, rectangles, hearts. Everywhere in my house, I see a lot of rectangles for the doors and the windows. But I know there's a lot of them around. Point out to all the shapes you see. Okay, boys and girls, see you later. Bye. Boys and girls, are you ready for story time? Today's story is Pete the Cat, Go Pete Go. I love Pete the Cat stories. Are you ready now? Let's see what happens. I, it seems like by me looking at the cover, it seems like they're gonna have a race. Hmm, let's see what happens. Pete the Cat, Go Pete Go. It's a beautiful day and Pete the Cat has decided to take his bike for a ride. Nothing makes Pete happier than feeling the sun on his fur and the breeze on his face. Oh, he's having a good time just riding his bike. Love it. Look at the basket. Inside the basket is an apple. Love it. Vroom, vroom. Turtle has a new race car. Who wants to have a race, he says. Not me, says the grumpy toad. My motorcycle has a flat tire. Not me, says Emma. My car is too old and slow. Not me, says Callie. My bus is a work of art. It's not meant for racing. Oh, that's cute. They don't want to race him. No way. I'll race you, says Pete, knowing how much Turtle likes to race. But your bike has no motor, says Turtle. My race car is super quick. I'll win for sure. He's already thinking he's going to win. That's OK, says Pete. I'll just want to try my best and have fun. That is a great statement there, boys and girls. Everyone is excited for the big race. Look at everyone. On your mark, get set, go, Callie shouts. Okay, they're ready. She got the flag. Uh-oh. Turtle steps on the gas pedal and vroom, zooms away. Pete waves goodbye, then pedals off. Pete sees Turtle up ahead. Turtle slows down to let Pete catch up. Check this out, shouts Turtle. He presses a button and, what do you think's gonna happen? He's pressing a button, uh-oh. Fins appear, these are the fins. Now Turtle's race car goes even faster. Vroom, vroom. Pete's bike doesn't have fins, but he does have a basket. He stops and takes out a tasty red apple. Do you remember the apple that we saw at the beginning of the story? Nothing is better than a tasty red apple on a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Turtle sees that Pete is way behind. He spies a diner up ahead. Might as well grab a bite to eat, Turtle says, as he pulls into a parking spot. So this is a diner. A diner is like a restaurant, and you could eat there, boys and girls. Yum, says Turtle, eating a grilled cheese sandwich. He is in no rush. He is sure he will win the race. He still thinks he's gonna win the race, let's see. Dessert, the waitress asks. Don't mind if I do, Turtle says. He's gonna have a big meal. 
While Turtle finishes his lunch, Pete continues pedaling. The sun is high and the breeze is blowing. It's a beautiful day for a race. He's enjoying it. Look at those beautiful colors. Pete sees Turtle leaving the diner. Pete waves hello, but Turtle doesn't wave back. Turtle just jumps in his car and peels off. I guess he didn't see me, Pete shrugs. Maybe not. But Turtle did see Pete. He knows that Pete isn't going to give up easily. So Turtle presses a button, his tires inflate, look how big, into a mag wheels that let him swerve around the curve at top speed. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Look how big his tires are. Pete passes a rose bush as he goes around a curve. Pete knows he should keep racing, but he can't resist. The roses are just so beautiful, he has to stop to smell them. I would stop, so look how beautiful the roses are, look. And he's smelling them. Turtle sees that he has a huge lead. He knows he's going to win. Uh-oh. He stops for a nice cold glass of lemonade. And that's when he sees the hammock hanging in between the two trees. This is a hammock, boys and girls. He's exhausted from racing so fast. He figures a quick nap would help him in this home stretch. So exhausted means he's very tired. So he wants to take a nap. Pete pedals past and sees Turtle sleeping. That's cool. Pete thinks as he rides by as quietly as he can. Turtle must be really tired. I'm glad he's getting some rest. Oh, he's gonna let him sleep. But if he sleeps too long, it could be a problem there. Grumpy Toad finds Turtle fast asleep. Look at the Grumpy. Wake up, Turtle, says Grumpy Toad. If you don't get back in the race, Pete is going to win. That's true. If he doesn't wake up, oh boy. That's impossible, says Turtle, thinking it must be a joke, but it's no joke. Uh-oh. Gets back in the car. Turtle presses a button and rocket boosters appear making him go super duper fast. Vroom! But by the time Turtle nears the finish line, uh-oh, it goes the finish line, Pete has already won the race. How did you do it, Turtle asks. Slow and steady, says Pete. Maybe next time, instead of racing, we can ride together. Great idea, says Turtle. <laughs> That's true, maybe they could do it together. What a great race. What a great day. <sighs> so now, Pete the Cat is in the hammock with a cup of lemonade. That is a great story. This is a great story about the I can statement. I can race. And he did. Took his time, but he did it. Boys and girls, thank you for listening to my story. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. For today's activity, we are going to make a shape person. Now, these are the things that you need from your baggie, okay? We have a blue construction paper, a green one, and a red one. We need a marker, it doesn't matter what color you, you have. And you need glue and the scissors, okay? So this shape person is going to be really cool. Now I know that you know your shapes, so you can pick any shape you want, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna put the glue here, scissors over here, and I'm going to start with my blue construction paper. Put those to the side, and here we go. I am going to start with a triangle. Because I love triangle. Here we go, the triangle. I'm making it big because it's going to be a shape person. Now look at this triangle. This triangle has three sides. One, two, three. Now I'm going to make the face. Because since it's going to be a person, I want him smiling. Uh-oh, let me cut the triangle out. Now remember, we're following the lines. Now you could have any shape you want. Let's see. Oh, I'm almost finished. Okay, let me put this to the side. But you know what? It needs arms and legs. I have extra paper here. So let me cut this out. Strips. Oh, this is a great idea. I will need four. Let me see what I could do here. I know what to do. Cut this out, put this to the side, and this could be the arms. Now watch this, boys and girls. Remember how we learned how to fold these? And we can make them all nice and wiggly. Look at this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's do, ooh, you know what we could do? 
How about if we put all of them together and then we could do them. Watch this. Oh, 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 oh. I did it! Now, oh, wait, the legs are longer, the arms are shorter. And let me put some glue. I don't want to glue it so close to his eye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, count to ten to hold it down so it could stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this shape person is looking so cool. I love it. Counting, you could count in your head. Look at this shape person. Do you like it? I love it. Look at that. That's my shape person, it's a triangle. Let me try another one. Can I try another one? Okay, let me put my triangle over there. I'm gonna get now the red paper, okay? Now, I have the red paper and here it goes. How about if I make a, I'm gonna make a rectangle. So, two short sides and two long sides. Let me see how many sides it has. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four. Ooh, I like to turn it this way. Let's see. Eyes, um, a round nose, and a happy face because I love them to be happy. Here we go. Cut again. Let's see. Oh, this is good. I don't know what shape you're going to do, but I know it's going to be a wonderful shape that you're going to do. Now remember, it's a shape person. Here we go. Now this one, I think I'm just gonna make a foot like that, and then another foot. Let me see. Oh yes, I think I like their feet right there. Then, short arms. Because you can make them however you want. Let me put this to the side. Now watch this, glue, glue for the feet, oh they look like triangles don't they, ah! and then rectangle arms, yep right there, there, and there, look at this guys, my shape people. I am missing the green one, but I'm not going to do it right now because I want to see yours, okay? Now remember, when you're finished with your project, have mom and dad take a picture of it. Now there's going to be three shapes that you're going to do, and then they're going to put it on Schoology, okay? See you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Now for this activity, you're going to go into your bag, and you're going to go get your shapes, the colorful shapes that are in there. Are you ready? Now look at this. I already have them all spread out here. I'm going to make something with these shapes. I'm just going to use them because I love shapes. Now, I would like to show you this new shapes here. The hexagon. Hexagon has six sides. Now look at that. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Isn't that cool? So it's called a hexagon. Now look at the other thing. I have circles, triangles, squares. Um, did I say triangle? Yes, I did. Look at all these shapes. I want to make something out of this. It's up to you. Just get any piece of paper from home. Ask mom and dad, and then you could design anything you want. Let's see what I'm gonna make. I think I want to put some glue down first because I am going to use the diamond shapes. I'm gonna pretend that this is a tree. This is the trunk. And then the top, maybe I should use the hexagon. What do you think? Look, <laughs> that looks good, right boys and girls? Now, ooh, with this yellow circle, Maybe I'll pretend that it's the sun. See how creative we could be with using shapes? Huh, let's see. Maybe this could be, oh, oh, I know, I know. Um, let's use this one again, the diamond shape. Maybe I could make a little flower, a red flower here, a triangle, another triangle, and another red triangle. And that could be a flower. Isn't this cool? I know that you could be creative. Make anything you want. Have fun, okay? See you later. Bye. Hey, boys and girls, are you ready for this movement activity? The name of this movement activity is put your hands up in the air. Now, this is a follow direction movement activity. It's also a song. So are you ready? They're gonna tell you different things to do, so you have to pay attention. Miss Amara, are you yeah, ready? Yeah, let's go. Now, we haven't done this song in a long time, 
but I think you'll be able to do it because you're going to listen to the directions. Ready? And you can move. You can dance to it. Put your hands, hands up in the air. Hands up in the air. Put your hands down on your nose. Oh, your nose. Put your hands up in the air. Oh, maybe if we sway them, Miss Amato, like that. Touch your toes. Ooh, everybody turn around. Slowly on this mark. Now let's all jump up and down. Ooh, exercise. Put your right hand in the air. Your right hand. Put your right hand on your lips. Put your left hand in the air. Now put both hands on your hips. Everybody turn around. Now let's all jump up and down. Yes, this is the best part. <laughs> To your seat. Walk quietly. Miss Amato, tippy toes. Don't let that teacher hear your feet. Oh, I don't hear anything. Put your hands in your lap. Uh-oh. Bow your heads and take a nap. Oh, taking a nap, guys. Are you tired? Boys and girls, that was awesome. You did a great job. You followed directions. See you soon. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Today, for a song, we're going to sing the 12 months of the year. There are 12 months in a year, and each month, what I like, we celebrate different holidays. But the best one is when you celebrate your birthday, isn't it? Yeah. I love celebrating my birthday. So here we go. We're singing the song of the 12 months of the year. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May and June and July. August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Oh, these are the months of the year. Filled in with joy and cheer, the months of the year. Good job, boys and girls. You should practice this song with mom and dad, okay? See you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Did you have a good time today? Did you think of any I can statements that you can do? Remember mine? I can ride a bike. Yes, I can. Story time. Go, Pete, go. The best part in that book was when Pete won the race. That was cool. That made me feel good. Like, yes, he did it. For our art activity, we did shape people. I love making my triangle person. That, that was cool to do. Now, what did you create with your colorful shapes? Did you like mine with the sun and the tree? Can't wait to see yours. For a movement activity, I enjoyed it because it was a calm movement activity. Now for the song, the months of the year, that was cool because I love all those months. There are 12 months in a year. Boys and girls, thank you for being here with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.